Welcome back, this is Anya. As we know, for the voltage, internal resistance, and the capacity are the three important indicators for measuring the lithium-ion battery's performance. Just like the heartbeat, pulse, and the blood volume are essential for a living organism. Today, I want to talk with you about the schematic diagram of the voltage of a single lithium battery cell, which is like this picture shows. I believe. 99% of lithium battery professional guys of look these pictures and uh, this diagram is very important for understanding lithium batteries. Please do not underestimate this chart. It contains a wealth of knowledge about lithium battery and their applications. Okay, let's begin. First, we need to understand a very important definition that is the voltage is external manifestation of battery capacity. In other words, that is, we can determine the capacity of current battery pack by its voltage. Now that we already know this definition, and let's look at this diagram again, Take the lithium iron phosphate battery as an example. We use 3.2 volts as its normal voltage because the cell has the highest capacity within this voltage range. You can also image this diagram as a bucket with a thick middle section and the amount of water it holds represents its capacity. 3.65 voltage represents the fully charged voltage of the cell. Based on the number of the cell in the battery pack, we can also determine the charger output voltage. For example, the charger output for the 16 cells of 51.2 voltage or 48 voltage lithium iron phosphate battery cell is uh, 16 multiplied by 3.65 voltage equals 58.4 voltage. At the same time, the overcharge protection parameter of the BMS should be set at around 3.7 for each cell. These are all basic concepts. 2.5 voltage is the discharge cutoff voltage of the battery cell of lithium iron phosphate battery cell. And uh, the discharge cutoff voltage for 16 cells battery pack is 16 multiplied 2.5 voltage and uh, equaling 40 voltage. When the battery pack voltage drops to this value, the BMS will active over the charge protection to prevent the cell damage. Understanding this voltage curve not only helps us to use the battery properly, but also effectively extends its lifespan. Behind each voltage range lies the balance between lithium iron phosphate battery safety and performance. Do you know what is the most common problem that the battery pack is? Yes, the answer will be the voltage difference. For example, after a period of use, the voltage between the cells in the battery pack become inconsistent. Some customers have mentioned that a uh, 0.02 voltage, which is, uh, which is the 20 meaningful voltage difference in their battery pack. Is this normal? Actually, it is a little bit hard to see for sure. It depends on the voltage range. Look at these pictures. Look at this graph. For example, 20 minivolt in 3.2 volt to 3.4 volt range represents a significant 
difference in charge compared to the 20 manifold in the 3.4 voltage to 3.6 voltage range, especially for large capacity batteries. For example, the MB56, the 628 ampere hour, if in least 3.2 volt to 3.4 volt, there will be a huge capacity difference between the 20 manifolds then that will be a problem. Similarly, the time required to balance the voltage difference across different range will also vary, such as the 3.2 volt to 3.4 volt of the voltage difference will need more time. Another issue is the inability of the electric scooter O22 car DC battery to fully charge. Those familiar use the uh, lithium-ion battery to replace the lead-acid battery. We all know that it is difficult to completely discharge the lithium-ion battery after switching from the lead-acid battery to the lithium-ion battery. This is due to the electric scooter or the tutu car controller. For example, in a 48 electric scooter or tutu car, the controller's live voltage is 42 voltage, means it cut off the power at 42 voltage. For a 16 cells lithium iron phosphate battery, the 42 divided 6 minus uh, equals 2.63 voltage, averaging uh, 2.63 voltage per cell. This, this leaves some margin before the 2.5 voltage overcharge protection of the individual cells. But this still results in lithium ion batteries actual usable capacity not being fully released. Wouldn't that mean all that power is wasted? This is because the controller's protection standard still use the voltage range of older lead acid battery with the increasing popularity of lithium ion battery could we lower the controller's voltage a little bit to get the fully discharged voltage? Let's look back at this sales voltage graph. You will find that the 0 0.13 volt difference in the range, in this range represents a very small amount of the power, almost negligible, especially in range calculation where this poacher of the power has the negligible impact on the overall performance. However, from a battery life pers perspective, retaining this margin is actually a protective margin to prevent cells damage due to, due to over discharge. If we were to completely change the entire controller design, the cost would definitely increase and I think customer cannot accept the least little changes but increase their price. So such a change is unnecessary. So you see this picture, this graph, really contains a lot of knowledge about the lithium ion battery. If you are interested, we will continue this discussion next time. And thank you for you guys watching the video. See you next time. Bye-bye.